My name's Rhett Jesse, and today we're going to talk about the Metrics Digital Proximity System. One of the nice features of the Digital Proximity System is the ability to adjust system length. This is, comes into play is when you're using, let's say, a 9-meter system or a 5-meter system, and you, you chose the system to make sure you have enough cable to get to the junction box. But what you discover inside the junction box are these coils of cable that are wound up that are just in excess in that box, and it creates a little bit of an aesthetic problem. It's, it's one of those things that you don't open up the panel because you don't want to show anybody, uh, but it becomes unsightly. Well you have to usually keep that nine or five meter system length in order to get the digital proximity system to work. But in our case, we can reprogram it to the system length you want. And in a previous video, we discussed how to trim a cable. And the purpose of that was, if you took like a nine meter cable and made it into a seven meter cable by cutting off two meters, you could then put on a new connector and you could run a calibration and see if it worked. Well, what I have here is I have a Metrix digital proximity system. This happens to be one of our transmitters. But you can do the same thing with one of our drivers. So you can go that either way. It, it, it can be with a driver or transmitter. The same process holds. And so I have a 9 meter cable and I cut off 2 meters so I can get rid of that coil of wire inside the cabinet. So now you have a nice clean appearance in the cabinet and it will look uh, very nice. But now we have to make it work. Well, the way we do that is we reconfigure the digital proximity system to that length and we check it for linearity. And that's what we're going to do now. We had a 9 meter system installed and we cut off 2 meters and we took off 2 meters of physical length. That doesn't mean that's the electrical length of the system. And so what we have to do is we do have to do a verification after we've trimmed a cable and put on a new connector. So let's go in and change the configuration. We have MX8030 is the probe type, uh, 4140 is the target material. We are still working with the 8 millimeter probe. We've got a 9 meter system length. Okay, so now let's go to, we cut off 2 meters so we could just choose 7 meters. Now what happens if you cut, let's say it was 7.5 meters, let's say that's what you needed in your cabinet. And we don't have a 7.5 meter selection in our software. Well, what we can do is you can pick seven meters or you can pick eight meters and if you're close what will happen is you'll get uh, a curve from your verification and you can do a custom calibration and that's the power of the digital proximity system you can make it perfect and so we cut off two meters let's just go ahead and, and make it seven meters and that it, that is close uh, it, like I said it could be 7.2 it could be 6.8 uh, you just want to get as close as you can to the, the length that you have for the cable. And then you uh, pick the distance that you're going to be using. For our transmitter, we'll use uh, 10 to 90. And we'll say send the configuration. Now the system can go all the way out to 12 meters and you can have really any increment in between. And for us, for ordering, you still order from metrics with a 5 meter or a 9 meter system. It's just if you want to change the system length in the field, you can. And you can clean up those cabinets. You can have nice clean installations if you're an OEM before you send it out to the customer. And they can be happy with what that installation looks like. All right, so I've got this system. Let's go ahead and do a tuning and verification step. And let's just see how it works. So I've reset it for 7 meters. But I want to go through this tuning step just to make sure I've got a, a matched system. So what I'll do is I'll open up the clearance here to about, you know, over 12 millimeters, yeah, more than a half an inch. Make sure I don't have any really electrical connectivity between the radio frequency signal emanating from the probe tip to the target material. And what I'll do is I'll say offset. And this really captures the top part of the curve. And then we'll go to a 10 mil gap and set the one volt to get the bottom portion or where we want it to start. All right, and with that, I'll go ahead and move the dial micrometer to where we have contact, then I'll back it out to 10 mils. And we'll get a data point. 
So what we're doing here is we're setting where we want the curve to start. So we set at 10 mils at one volt, and because that's what we want. And we know we're not having the, the factory do this. We cut this cable ourselves and we put a connector on. So we have to basically adjust the electrical param parameters in the system. So we'll say yes, and we should get one volt. Looks good. And then we'll move the dial micrometer in 10 mil increments and take data along the way. So I'll move it to 20. Say get. And we'll do the same thing all the way to 100 and then we'll look at our results. All right, we gathered our last point, and you can see that uh, many of the points are in specification, but we have about a third that are out of specification. They're beyond the 190 to 210, which is the allowable range. So we have some as high as 218. Well, that's not really that bad since we just cut the cable and put on a connector. So what we want to do is go in and do a custom calibration and then see if we can tighten this up to make sure it's within specification. So we'll go ahead and perform a custom calibration by hitting yes. And after it updates the, using the voltages that we just took, it will update the configuration inside the digital proximity system and then we'll re-verify to see if we get a better result. So we'll go back to 10 and we'll go ahead and Take data again, just like we did before. All right, we got our last data point, and we see that it looks like the data from 10 to 90 is well within specification. The last point uh, is out, but Per API, it's from 10 to 90 that we measure the 80 mil range, and that's very satisfactory results. And it shows that we can trim a cable, take two meters off, reconfigure the system for a seven meter system, and it will get a satisfactory result with a custom calibration. Thank you very much.